This is a very quick blog on my recommendations for supplements. The supplement industry is very large and it makes a lot of money, but you don't need that much stuff. People really overdo it when it comes to supplements and working out. The most important thing is your diet, as long as you're getting enough protein and not eating too much so you don't put on extra adipose tissue. But for supplements themselves, you just need the basics. I tell everyone that you can't really build muscle or lose fat if you're very unhealthy. So think of it that way. Build a healthy body so you can get it to do things out of the ordinary, so to speak. If your body's struggling with general health, then it will struggle to lose fat, it will struggle to gain muscle. So I'd say some of the most important things are not counting extra protein, which if you're resistance training you do need, but uh, fish oil, make sure it's a reputable brand uh, like anything else, there's a lot of money to be made out there, so there are a lot of very poor brands. You might have to pay a little bit more, but it's worth it. Um, creatine. A lot of people don't think of this because creatine seems boring now, but it is highly effective. Not only that, it seems to help cognitive function. Even if you don't work out, creatine may be important because we don't get enough of it in our diet. You don't need any fancy creatine. You don't need any of the ones that are flavored and they add all this stuff. Creatine monohydrate, again, from a reputable company. And that is all you need. You don't need to do any kind of crazy loading scheme or anything. Just keep it very basic. Vitamin D, people don't think of this much when uh, you talk about building muscle, but there are a lot of people who are deficient in vitamin D. If you're deficient in anything, it's gonna hold you back. Vitamin D is a vitamin that many people are deficient in these days, at least in the Western world. So you can get a cheap and easy blood test to check yourself for vitamin D deficiency. And if you are, take vitamin D. If you're in the sun all the time and you don't wear too much sunscreen, which could be dangerous, you probably have enough vitamin D. But if you have any doubt, it won't hurt you to take some. Finally, magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that many people, many athletic people are deficient in. I give a lot of my clients magnesium and it seems to help. It's involved in many functions in the human body. It's too long to go over now. But that's another one that a lot of people don't think of. It helps a lot. There are different forms of magnesium. Look into it, even the more expensive forms aren't too expensive. Besides those, then it gets very individualized. So for most people, that individualized supplementation isn't worth it. Unless you're a professional athlete or something like that, the cost, the, the benefits certainly don't outweigh the cost. But I would consider things like calcium, uh, multivitamin, things like that. Again, all these fancy substance, substances, supposed testosterone boosters, waste of time. Keep it basic and just think about getting healthy. Once you're healthy, then you can push to more specific stuff.